no time for our country living nugget. And the focus scripture is found in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive us of our erring ways and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We thank you for taking us safely to church this morning and for giving us another opportunity to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, as I'm about to give your people your message, I pray that it may be a blessing and that it will transform the lives of your saints. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today I'll be talking to you about character building. And many of us may think that we would start building our characters when we head into the country, and that's not the case. Our characters should be formed now. And character building means that you would put God above everything else that we have and even above ourselves. So in building our characters, God, God has given us everything. He has blessed us with, with different activities that we are to carry out in sustaining our lives. He would use those as a medium to help to sustain us. However, we can be extreme on those things and that can be become, uh, become idols. And um, we are to die to self. In other words, we should be focused solely on the charge that God has given us and that we are not to put anything above Christ. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31, we are reminded to do all to the glory of God, even by in our eating and drinking. Therefore, do not do anything at all to exalt yourself. And this is the poison that Satan would have and would just try to spread it to the human race. So I am admonishing to all of you that you would, as you transition into the country, I pray that you all will just put God above everything that you do. It is not easy to kill the flesh because there are many things in this world that will please the flesh and also at the same time it's dishonoring and transgress transgressing the law of God and to please God and not the flesh is not an easy thing but it is possible by praying and agonizing with God as Jacob did with the angel when he wrestled with God we should practice these things brethren and that way we are putting God above all things everything in this world even ourselves let us pray Dear most kind, adorable Heavenly Father, I pray that you will touch the lives of each and every one of us. Lord, we are, we want to live in the country and the preparations that we need to make, I pray that we will put our plans, all the plans before you. 
Lord, the enemy would want to distract us with worldly influences and all the different kinds of, of evils that are in our environment. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will help us to remain focused and not allow the devil to have our souls any at all. Help us to guard the avenues so that we can be protected against these things. Lord, be with the proceedings of today's program. I pray that you will bind up every unclean spirit and that we will remain focused on your words and not be sidetracked or distracted or allow our minds to wander on anything secular. Thank you, Lord, for your mercies and for your grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm a pilgrim and I'm a stranger. I can tarry, I can tarry but a night. Do not detain me for I am going to where the fountains are ever flowing. I'm a pilgrim and I'm a stranger. I can tarry, I can tarry but a night.